primary ones, yeah, mostly kids are like, so nervous about learning about Max. Uh, after they go through all these games, they are much more relaxed and they learn more and they are excited to know more about Max. Now they have more opportunity to get to hands-on games and learn through games for Max, these sort of things, yeah. Well, our town doesn't have these sort of things. Manipulative such as fraction this, multiplication and division card we makes it more fun and match lessons will be much less boring. Yeah, we play a lot of games and it's even better than last year's. P1 he doesn't like Max but now he's very excited and he loves Max also and he's, he's learning more. I can count money faster if I'm very hungry I can just Go and give the auntie the money and get the food cooking. For all these activities that we are doing in the, in the school, we felt that the children are better engaged and because of their better engagement, we felt that they have developed more positive attitudes towards their learning. So one of the examples would be we teach uh, mathematics through songs. The other way is to use a storybook to teach uh, problem sums in the classrooms. The teacher used a wide range of pedagogies in the class. One of the key pedagogies is also the activity-based lessons in the classrooms. So pupils are engaged in the learning by doing activities. The other um, programs that we have is to have uh, maths games in the school. There are two types of games that they play. One is the math stations that, that they have uh, every Wednesday. The other will be the Maths Games Day that we organise for the children. We basically want to inject fun in learning for the children. So PE elements such as running, hopping are actually incorporated uh, in our Maths Games where we also uh, design the games such that it is related to their classroom uh, learning. What is important is how the children are learning and how they are being engaged in their classroom so that they become better learners in mathematics.